right, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me on the live cooking demo with Miss Brenda, and I am really excited. I love how you all voted on which recipe that you um, wanted to see um, uh, for me to demonstrate today. And guess what won? Our peanut butter sandwich cookies. In fact, we posted a picture of them, and we are going to have so much fun making this recipe. But first, let me connect my computer over here to the live so that... Um, so that we can all join in here so I can see your comments when they come in. And let's see here. Um, okay, there we go. And our very first thing, we're going to have for the recipe, I'm going to read it to you, but it will be posted on our Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page as well as our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. In fact, you can see it on my apron. Okay, all right, so peanut butter sandwich cookies we have for the ingredients and um, before I give you those ingredients I just wanted to share something with you every Wednesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time you can join Miss Brenda right here in my kitchen this is my home kitchen now it's not a great big kitchen but I put a little table here for you and so I, we can make it work okay um, but we'll post a recipe and you'll have a lot more time to vote on which recipe you think that I should um, should fix for you and also, if we're going to post the once it's cho the recipe's chosen, you can get all your ingredients ready and cook with me, so that when I'm cooking, you can do um, you can cook your own recipe in your kitchen at the same time. Wouldn't that be lots of fun? So plan on that for Wednesday at two o'clock Eastern. And I also want to invite you to join me for praise time every Wednesday and every Sabbath at five thirty p.m. Eastern. I'll be at the piano playing your favorite songs. So that's tonight at five thirty. Eastern and and Sabbath afternoon at 530 Eastern so we're gonna have a lot of fun so thinking about your uh, favorite songs that you want played tonight but right now let me read this recipe this is for our peanut butter sandwich cookies we have for the ingredients um, and don't worry about having to write it down unless you're going to try to cook with me today uh, because we will have it on our website and also the Kate, uh, Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page so the ingredients we have a half a cup of um, margarine and um, or you can use butter for those of you use butter and I'm giving a lot of different options for you today because I realize there's many places in the world that don't have a lot of the vegan options so uh, this isn't going to be a vegan uh, recipe however we will post both a regular recipe and a vegan recipe so that you can choose which one you want to make all right so a half a cup of, um, of margarine of, or butter one fourth cup of sugar a half a cup of packed brown sugar one half cup of creamy peanut butter, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and a fourth cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, three fourths teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Now for the filling, you will need one cup of peanut butter and one half cup of powdered sugar, okay? And again, if you're not making it with me today, don't worry about writing it down. We will have it posted. You can print it off. Okay, that'll be lots of fun. So I I love peanut butter of just about any way you can fix it. I love peanut butter sandwiches. And in fact, one of my favorite sandwiches that I used to take uh, to school with me when I was your age, I absolutely love peanut butter and dill pickle sandwiches. It's my favorite. And you might go, what? But I honestly don't knock it till you tried it. Peanut butter and dill pickle sandwiches are amazing. I love them. Uh, peanut butter um, sandwiches with uh, sliced bananas and raisins and honey is pretty good too. So um, there's lots of things you can do with peanut butter. And, um, and I just love peanuts. So. so to get started, we need a bowl. I wish I had a clear mixing bowl. And, and uh, once the, this, we're not confined to our homes anymore because of the coronavirus, I will probably get me some um, clear bowls so that you can, guys can see through them. But this is what I have today. And this is kind of a cool mixing bowl because this part of the bowl is, um, it's like a, a, a rubber texture so it doesn't slide and it stays in, in place a little better. So, and it also has a grip here you can hold on to it. So it's not all bad, right? We'll think about those blessings. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our butter or margarine and we just put that right in there. And put this in the sink. And, um, and then we're going to put our sugars in. So we have our white sugar, and, um, and then we're going to put in the packed brown sugar. Now, you don't even have to have 
um, a, you don't have to have a um, mixer for this, but you can use one if you want. I didn't, and even for our sample cookies, I didn't use them. But you can if you want to. So what you're going to do is you're going to blend those up till it's really fine. And I just have a, it, I have just a, a spatula that's a real heavy duty firm spatula. So it, it makes a good mixing tool. And, and so I'm just going to just, oh, and this is a really way to get lots of good exercise. Think, oh. And let me, now let's, but now I'm gonna show you in here, you see, I've got some butter in here, you can still see it. So it's not all the way mixed up the way it should be. Let's see who's, um, let's see who's joined us over here. Um, oh, we have Kathy's joined us and Ash has joined us from all the way from South Africa. And thank you, Ash. Ash is actually our administrator for our uh, Kids Cover Jesus Facebook page. So welcome, Ash. And uh, if you have any questions or you want to, um, even before or after the program, you, Ash is right on top of things. She will, she will get those questions answered. If she doesn't know the answer, she knows how to get the answers, okay? So now let's, oh, I'm just going to try to just do this now. How about that? And I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to see how fast I can mix it. And just, it's getting there. It's almost there. See, look at that. Oh, nice and smooth. Can you see that? Let me just show you. See how nice and smooth that is? When it gets nice and smooth like that, then we're going to put in our peanut butter. And this is a natural peanut butter that I use. And uh, it's my grandson Michael's favorite. That's why I get that for him. And now we're gonna blend that in. And we're gonna get, mix that really good. And the more things you blend in here, the easier it is to do the mixing. But let's, let's get this really good. And look how nice that is. See that? All right, so now um, I have eggs in this recipe. However, because there's many um, places in the world that, um, that don't have all the vegan ingredients normally, so I want to do some regular recipes and give everybody an option for vegan. So we're just going to have, we have two eggs, and we're just going to crack those in there. You can do that like I did on the table or on the edge of that, and I just separate them like this and do another one. And guess what I have handy? A towel. Okay? Because you never know when you're going to need that, right? All right. And then we also need a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's put a teaspoon of vanilla in here. Ooh, this smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this because, oh, it's smelling really good. So there's a teaspoon of that. And now, I'll show you what this looks like in here. See here? Now I have to be a, very, a little more careful because I don't want to slop it out of the bowl. You know what I mean? That might, well, that'd be a lot of fun, I guess, but we'd, we'd miss a lot of our ingredients for our cookies, so I better behave myself and stir this a little bit better. Let's see here. Yep, this is coming along nice. Oh, look how nice this is in here. See that? There we go. Nice and smooth. Can you see? Okay, so we're just going to set that over here for a moment. And, and now I've got a little bowl. And for the little bowl, we're going to put our dry ingredients. So we're going to put our flour, which is a one and a fourth cups of flour. We're also going to put in um, three-fourths teaspoons of baking soda. So I have a little um, uh, fourth teaspoon right here of um, baking soda. We need three of these. So this is one-fourth. We need three of them. So here's one, two, and three. And we need a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So here's our baking powder. We're just going to put a half a teaspoon of that in there. And now we got that. So now the only thing we need to do is mix this up really good. And we're only going to add this a little bit at a time to our um, peanut butter mixture over here, the wet ingredients, okay? We'll mix it a little bit at a time, and then we'll keep adding a little. So we just sprinkle a little. And you can see I'm going to show you what we're doing here since we don't have a glass bowl. Okay, we're 
So we just, you know, stir that in there really good. And when that gets nice and blended in, we're just going to add a little more flour. And you just keep doing that until it's all done. And so we'll add a little more. Okay. And that's, if you have any questions so far, let me look and see if anybody has any questions. Uh, Lori is joining us. And we have um, Liesl with Nicole and Gabriel are watching from Canada. I'm so glad you're watching us. And we also have, um, oh, Ash, she's such a good administrator. She's saying, now, is that crunchy peanut butter or smooth? I'm using smooth, but you can use crunchy if you want to, and if that's what you have at home. If you like a little crunch in it, you can, but, but I prefer the smooth because you're going to have a little bit smoother cookie. And we're making sandwich cookies. So I recommend the smooth, but if you crunchy is all you have, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to make your cookie a little bumpy wherever those chunks are. And let's see, we have, oh, my good friend Nancy Morowski joined us. Nancy, it's so good to have you join us. Nancy and I actually went to school together years and years and years ago, and I haven't seen you. And let me tell you something about Nancy. She has a beautiful voice. And she is a singer. And so if you, I don't know, Nancy, you have to put on there where kids can hear you sing because she plays the guitar and sings at the same time and is amazing. So, um, Nancy, you should tell everybody how to get, I think you have some CDs up, don't you? You should tell the kids how to, how to listen. I'm going to just put a little more. See how you just got to be patient. Just have fun with it. And just, you can, I figure, why have that noisy old mixer when you don't have to? And it's less cleanup too. Whoops, I just got some out of the bowl. Ooh. Let's see, I should have watched what I was doing, huh? Let's see who else we have over here. We have Joanne Green. Oh, Joanne, I'm so glad to have you. Is Sam with you? Um, um, you might have seen Sam on Kids Time programs. He's a, a child preacher, amazing. He's been on many times. And um, you can watch him on our Kids Club for Jesus. We have our Kids Time programs that are airing now on Kids Club for Jesus, so you can watch Kids Time again, and you will see her son, Sam. So you should tell us if Sam's watching too right now. And um, our, my friend Gerard's watching all the way over in South Africa, and um, we're nice to that you joined us as well. So we're watching from all over the world. That's Isn't that wonderful? We have technology. Here, we're all confined. Now, this was the last of that. See there? We're all confined to our homes, but because of technology, we can all be together. Isn't that awesome? So we always count your blessings. There's, yes, you might be sad that you don't get to see our friends or go to school right now, but there's always something to be thankful for. And I'm thankful that I can be here with you. Okay, we have um, uh, Melissa um, Hinion just joined, and we have um, Irma, and we have Amar. Oh, I love you, Amar, how are you? And Denver. Oh, um, uh, my friend Denver, he is an amazing cook, and uh, Denver goes to um, our university here in College Dale, Southern University, and sometimes he likes to come over and cook in this kitchen, and he makes some amazing recipes. So, glad you joined us, Denver. Where's Andre and Mike? They should let us know if they're on there, right? So, now let me just, let me just get going on this. Now, see, I got it about like this. So now let me just see what I can do. Oh, and it's getting nice and blended and all the flour is absorbed. So you can see all of that is absorbed now that you don't see any white spots. That means we're ready to make cookies, okay? And let's see, oh, it's so fun. Um, so let's see here. We have Amy has joined us as well. Denver says he misses cooking with us and I miss that too. So this is what we're gonna use next over here. So let me just put this and of course, I made a mess, didn't I? So let me see if I can't just clean this up right here. But you know what? It's fun to make a mess in the kitchen, and and it's it can clean up. It's not a problem. I just put all that over there in my sink, and um, and now I have my see. I've got my time. My oven is set at 350 degrees, and it's already nice and hot. And I have my baking sheet here. And you can use um, parchment paper on your baking sheet, but what I like to use is something called a silk hat. And it makes the cookies so nice, and they turn out almost perfect every time. They don't stick to your pan. 
and the cleanup is really nice as well. So I just put that in there. They're washable, usable. I roll them up, put them in my drawer, and now uh, till the next time. So we're gonna hit, put our silk pap in here so it's ready to go. But you know what else? Whenever I'm baking cookies like that and I'm gonna actually use my hands, I am a nurse, a registered nurse, and I like things really, really clean and I don't like germs. So, um, right now we're all worried about germs. I have some gloves and I these are gloves that are just uh, latex gloves that you can get a size. I get the small because my hands are small, but they come in small, medium, and large. And I'm going to put my gloves on because I am going to roll some cookies. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, Ooh, these are so fun to make. You guys are going to love it. Let's see here. So, this here is just some parchment paper I'm going to put right here because we're going to roll a few of these. And I like to have my cookies all the same size if possible, and here's why. We're making sandwich cookies. So, what means is that we're going to take one cookie, and here's I have some that are finished. And you're gonna, these are the, the cookies. We're gonna spread a filling on it and put them together. So they need to be about the same size or part of the cookie's gonna be, you know, showing all the filling and it's not gonna look nice. Probably tastes the same, but you know, it's not gonna look nice. So we wanna make our cookies look nice. So I have a scoop that I like to use and I just take and I put it on the edge of the bowl so that I get like this, see? And then I'm going to just put that down here like this. And I like to get a, get enough of them going right here so that I can do them all at once. So I'm going to just keep putting this right here and that way they'll pretty much come all the same size. And sometimes they like to stick a little bit, but that's okay. That's, that won't hurt anything at all. And we've got our gloves on, so we're keeping everything nice and clean. And, um, see here let's see who else has joined us we have Lachelle oh Lachelle says yum and Gladys has joined us thank you let's see right here so um, Lachelle is our kids time um, photographer for our how uh, many of our kids time programs and she's also our Kids Club for Jesus photographer. And she's shot a lot of pictures She's um, for me for my bedtime story book. She'll want to join me every Friday at 5.30 for bedtime stories. And um, you'll see some of her photographs in my bedtime story books. And I'll tell you another little secret about Michelle, my friend. She is a photographer at, at Disney World in Florida. So if you go to Disney World... You can look her up and she can take your picture. Okay, let's see here. Now I see how I'm just making the same. Now I'll get some, I'll stop here in a moment and we'll make sure we got enough to put on the pan to get some baking. And um, let's see right here. And then we'll put some more out, okay? Ooh, this smells so good already. And just wait, when that starts baking in the oven, that really smells good. I'm looking over with the recipe possibilities of what you think um, you would like to see me make next week. So start putting your ideas in there. What would you like to see now? Would you like to have dessert or would you like to have um, soup or sandwiches or an entree? Or would you like more cookies? Put, put your favorite down there that you think you would like to see me make for next week. Okay, so start thinking about that. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one up here that I did. See how nice and easy it picked up off of there? And I'm just going to gently roll it like that. Not, not a lot, just gently roll it. And, and I'm going to put it right... Oops, I dropped it over here. So let me put this over here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then, so, and then I, I'm going to take the next one. And we're gonna roll that. And just a tiny bit, doesn't have, we're not fine. Some of them probably be fine, just picked up and put there. Um, just trying to smooth down the edges. And the dough is a little bit soft. That's okay, it's supposed to be, because I like a real tender cookie. Now, if you want a little bit harder, crunchier cookie, it's okay to sprinkle maybe a little bit more flour in your, in your dough. 
and that would be fine. But I like a nice, tender, soft cookie. And it tastes so good. That's, that's my favorite way of having it. But if it's your cookie, you make it how you like it. That's the fun about recipes. You can always try a recipe. And then when you go, well, I like this about it, but I wish it was this. Then you make it again. You change what you like. Okay? That's the fun thing about recipes. You know, boys and girls, when I was a tiny little girl, my mama had all her children in the kitchen cooking with her. Whatever my mama was doing, that's what we were doing. If she was cleaning, we were cleaning. If she was cleaning toilets, we cleaned toilets. You know, when I was sweeping the floor, we were sweeping the floor. But anytime she was cooking, we were in the kitchen cooking too. And that's a fun thing to do. It's always a really um, good bonding time for families to spend time together, uh, playing together, working together. Um, it's, it's, uh, it creates memories that will stay with you for a lifetime and also it teaches you things. I wouldn't be cooking today if it wasn't for my mom who's such a wonderful cook and, and taught me to cook. So I think I, I made my first batch of bread by myself when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. And there's seven loaves in the recipe. So it was a, it was a lot of kneading going on in there. Maybe sometime you want me to make bread. I'd be happy to do that too. Or donuts or sweet rolls or, you know, didn't think about it. Okay, so we have Ted uh, Benson. Hey, Ted, how are you doing? I'm glad you joined us. And Terry Ann, it's so good to see you um, on here with us. Um, oh, and Lachelle's asking how far apart are the cookies on this wax paper? Just so that they don't touch. There doesn't have to be any distance. Just don't let them touch. That's all. And on here, can you see this? I have them spaced because remember when they um, bake, they're going to spread out. And so now with this part of my hand, the palm of my hand right here, I'm going to flatten these just a little bit. So I want you to watch me do this. So I just, I just, um, and I'm just going to flatten them out like that just a touch. And because they want to stick to my glove, I have to kind of, you know, play with it a little bit really gently so that they won't want to stick and there we go and just flatten out just a little bit until they look like that and now it's time for the oven now i'll tell you I'm, I'm i have a box of these so i change them often but we're going to put these in the oven and let them bake. and i'm going to bake them for seven minutes and we're going to check them. Um, but I don't have a timer here. Let's see. I don't know how this timer works. Let me look. I don't think I've ever used this one. So let's, um, oops. Um, no, that's not going to work. Okay, Melissa, tell me when seven minutes are up because I don't know how to work my timer because I never use that because I usually use my phone and I tell Siri to set my timer, but I can't do that right now. So um, would somebody tell me when seven minutes are up from right now, okay? So, um, but I'll tell you a really fun thing. Would you guys like to see my, my pot holder collection? I have, um, when I travel all over the world and one of the things that I've done when I travel, I collect some things. Um, I used to collect dolls, and I get a doll from every place I went, and I ran out of spaces to put dolls, and I also collected thimbles, which tiny little thimbles, sometime maybe I'll, on a live, I'll take you in I'll, uh, on the live, and I'll show you where my thimbles are. I, I probably have, I don't know, five, six hundred thimbles, and and probably the last several year, years, I also started collecting pot holders, mm -hmm. but the pot holder has to have the name of the place of where I go. So let me just show you. I keep my pot holders here, right here. And well, I'll just grab a bunch of them and show you what I, I hang them on hooks inside of here. Because when you have a small kitchen, you have to take advantage of every little place. So I have this one when I visited St. Martin. You see that one? And this one, I go to Australia um, every year. And so this one's a, an oven mitt from Australia. And it's got kangaroos and I guess I'm holding it upside down. There you can see that got kangaroos on it and the map of Australia. This one is from Fiji. I was just there last year with my good friend Julie Douglas and we had such a good time. That has Fiji written all over it. And um, this one is Barbados. And I've had such a great time in Barbados. I love you guys over there. 
And um, this one here is from Portugal. Uh, I go over there every year to teach classes at Amazing Facts in Europe. And then we have Grand Turks and Caico Islands um, right there. I was there last year. So I've got lots and lots of these, but these are just a few I have handy. And we're going to need some pretty soon because we have cookies in the oven. Now I'm going to just turn the light on so I can keep taking a peek and see how we're doing. And you guys are going to keep me honest here about those minutes, right? So since we have spaces here, now I'm going to put on my gloves again. And we will put get ready for the next batch while we're waiting, okay? Because that's just seven minutes. That, that'll go by quickly. And I'm going to just tell you right here. Let's see. We have... Um, Isa has just joined us, and Gary, and my good friend Cheryl Rogers has joined us. Hey Cheryl, Cheryl and I are graduated together at Georgia Cumberland Academy, and I love her to death. Thank you so much Cheryl for joining us. See, if you were here right now, I'd put you to work, but she's not here right now, so um, let's see right here. We're gonna, so now we're gonna just put a few more down here, and And that way these are all ready to go. And kind of what I like to do is I like keep one pan going while the while the one's baking. I have another pan and um, and I start going with the next one. And uh, just keep the, so that when I take one pan out of the oven, I'm ready to put the other one in. And it kind of flows really nice and smooth there. If you have any questions so far, this is the time to um, write in your questions. If you have any questions about the recipe or anything else, just ask me. This is the time to, to, to get your questions answered. Let's see right here. So if you have any right here, we have, um, we have Willie has joined us um, from uh, Guyana, and I'm so glad you're watching us. Thank you, Willie. So do you have any questions for us so far? Let us know. I wish like everything I could share these cookies with you because can I... Can I just let you in a little secret? Last night when I was making the samples, I tasted one of those and I was, well, you know, a good cook has to taste because you won't know what, you know, you might need to add this or that or the other thing. So if you're a good cook, you do have to taste, you know. So I was doing my job, trying to, you know, make, looking out for you guys. So I had my taste. Oh, it was so good. So, all right, so this is ready for the next one coming out. And while that, I'm going to just go and put this back here because we've made enough of those. I want to show you on this platter. These are ones that I made last night. <laughs> you can tell I sampled one, didn't you? Because I'm missing the, I'm missing one to make a sandwich. All right, so here we have, look how nice these are. See how smooth? If you have crunchy peanut butter, they won't be smooth like that. They'll be kind of bumpy. And I like the smoothness, so I do recommend the smooth. All right, so I have some of the filling already mixed up um, for these. We'll mix this up over here. But I just wanted to show you how these go together. You're gonna to just take a little bit of this filling and you're gonna spread it around. So easy. You guys are gonna love this. And it's so easy to do, it takes no time. And they freeze well in the freezer. You can go ahead and completely make up the sandwiches, put them in a freezer bay, and um, they, they will freeze really well for probably up to three months. Uh, but they probably won't last that long because um, when my grandson's here and all his friends, I can make a plate of cookies and whew, they're gone in just a matter of minutes. So I don't think many of my cookies make it into the freezer. But now, see how you, I like to do this, play a little bit. Look at this in the camera. Can now, can you see that? How that looks so nice? Can you look at that? Ooh, that's so good. And that's all there is to that. So while that's in the oven, let's go ahead. This is the one that's already made. I can use the exact same bowl that I had my flour and dry ingredients. All I do is I go over the sink and I give it a couple whops, just like that. And most of that flour came out of there anyway. So now I'm gonna put in just two ingredients for the filling. We have our peanut butter, and it's a smooth peanut butter. And um, I really do recommend the smooth. And we're just going to put this right in here. And powdered sugar. So it's just one cup of peanut butter and a half a cup of powdered sugar. And you need to mix it up carefully because I, be honest with you, I got a little carried away last night. <laughs> I had powdered sugar everywhere. <laughs> I even got it on my face, had some on my nose, and you know, because I was really getting into it, and I was going, woo, it was everywhere. I had a cloud of dust of powdered sugar. 
So you probably do, and you'll see what I, I'm talking about. See right there? I will get me some clear bowls and let's see right here. And oh, she says one more minute. Oh, I gotta be careful. So one more minute. And um, Leanna, I'm so glad you joined us. Susan Kane, all the way over from where? Tell us where you're from. And Amy Johns joined us. And um, Denver says he knows I'm talking about those cookies. Um, my oldest grandson lives with me. He has his own apartment here. And, and when all his friends come over, I like to surprise him and make cookies and chocolate chip cookies or brownies and or I'll make a big bowl of popcorn and take it to him or chocolate covered strawberries. I have fun um, feeding all his friends. And um, and I love his friends too. They're, they're like my kids too. The mom away from home, I love them. Okay, so let's see, we have um, any questions yet so far? What's the filling? Okay, Amy wants to know the filling. It's just peanut butter and powdered sugar. A cup of peanut butter, half a cup of powdered sugar, and uh oh she's telling me ah oh, take it out of the oven and she is completely right so i'm going to use let's see we'll take barbados and we'll take uh fiji today barbados and fiji i have so much fun with my pot holders you know it reminds me of where i've been and and uh so anywhere you've got a pot hole that has where you live on it send it to, to miss brenda i would love to have it so let's get your let's see if these are done yet and uh, i think maybe just another minute so Let's give me another minute, Melissa. Can you tell me that? She's probably going, okay, wait a minute. She's trying to get my attention over there because I get to yak and I wasn't paying attention. She's like, seven minutes is up, right? All right, so let's see over here. Um, oh, and Amar says she votes for bread. She might homemade bread. I make all kinds of bread. Um, I, I've recently made some bread for a friend that I just love and I put flax seeds and raisins in it and actually it wasn't even my idea it was his idea and I was like flaxseed and raisins and, and I just put the flaxseed in regular I didn't like pre-soak it or anything that was so amazing so good and it made the bread even a little bit different texture a little moisture it's very good and it's really healthy for you whole wheat bread with flax and raisins it was wonderful Okay, so this is almost, I'm going to have to just get into it now. The, most of the powder is absorbed, so I don't have to worry about flying powder all over this place. But now I'm going to just get into it. It makes it a little more like that. Okay, now nice and smooth. Look at this. And that's all there is of that. Okay, let me take these off. And let's see if this is ready now. We've got Barbados and Fiji. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Look how perfect that is. See that? And I'm going to just let those set on there right now. Those look so good. Mmm. Look at that. Can't you just almost taste those? Seriously? So, if you watch me cooking cooking shows, you know I'm not the one to sample things. But since there's nobody else here and I'm all by myself, I guess I'm gonna to have to just sample it as a good cook to see it, tell you how it is, right? So let me see. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. I'm just gonna give you a little bite right like that. See? Mmm. That's good. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's good. So do you have any questions before we take off? Let's see, we have, um, let's see, we have, um, oh, someone's asking, what do you do if you don't have a mat, a silk hat mat? Um, well, you can do a couple things. You can take, let me just put this over here. I'm trying to be careful with this because I'm sure I'm probably going to give these away to somebody, you know, I can't, I can't eat all these and what a waste to put them in my freezer when I could, you know, make someone else happy, right? Um, so here's what you can do. I keep all my baking sheets under here and you can see mine are quite well used. Um, you can, uh, have a non-stick cooking spray and I'm really short, but I have to stretch to reach this up here because I bring my, my Pam spray and you just spray it really, really good and then put it on top of that. So if you don't have a silpat, which is, you know, the cooking mat, you can do that or 
If you have parchment paper that's for baking, the kind that can go in an oven, you can put the parchment paper down. And um, how did I do that? Look, I got some powdered sugar on that. I have no idea how I did that. You saw that. Hmm. So anyway, so you can you can use the um, this this pan or baking parchment paper or the salt pad. But I really recommend the salt pad. It's there. It's wonderful. Um, and let's see if there are any other questions. It said, um, oh, can you fill those with something else other than peanut butter in the middle? Oh, yeah. There's lots of filling. In fact, um, hmm, I'm going to show you something. Just hang a second. got to get it on my refrigerator. It's actually behind the camera, so give me a second. And I had just made some um, spice cake cupcakes. And I had a cream cheese frosting on it. And what I did for my frosting is I take and I put that mixed up the cream cheese with the powdered sugar. I put it into a, a, a Ziploc freezer bag, cut off the tip right here. And and look, I'm going to make it. I make my own bag here for filling. And we can since you asked me, I'm going to show you how to fill one. We're just going to take right like right over here. Put that filling right there. Okay. And put those two ends together until that until it comes out to the side. I like to just kind of squish them like that. And look at and that's delicious. And you know what else is delicious? Mix that with the peanut butter. And that's really delicious too. So you can have have the peanut butter with that. But the, yeah, be creative with the fillings. Uh, something that's really good in that is I know um, I first was introduced it um, when I my very first trip years and years ago to uh, Europe and now it's really popular here I'll give you a little um, something to laugh about because I I fell in love with this over there it was um, let's see a little thing called Nutella have you seen this and I loved it. It's got like chocolate with a um, hazelnut kind of flavor to it because it's a hazelnut spread with chocolate. And I liked it so much that I, I bought a bunch of it just to bring home, only to discover when I got home that every grocery store had it. <laughs> I used up all my weight in my suitcase because I wanted to bring this home. So, you know, I had never heard of it before, but it was all, in our, all over the world I have discovered. And um, I get this for my grandson too, because sometimes he likes it on his pancakes or waffles with peanut butter. But you take this and put some peanut butter on this side and then a little Nutella, squish them together. That's good. Or just plain Nutella by itself. So yeah, you can have lots of fun with fillings. It was, you can even put some jelly in there. And it'd be like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, only peanut butter and jelly cookie. So it, it's uh, lots of fun things you can make a variety of and just have fun with it. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, I think um, I don't see any more questions. So Melissa, tell me if there's any more questions. But if there's not, let's see. We have. Um, oh, maybe I didn't scroll up. Okay. Um, okay. A lot of people were telling me my time's up, and I and I was not paying attention. And oh, Becca, um, she's she's one of my grandson's friends that is the beneficiary of lots of my cooking. And she tells me she does miss the, that popcorn. I'm, I'm, I season it a very special way. Um, and uh, let's see. So you can find the recipe on our Kids Club for Jesus website or our Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page. And would y'all do me a big, huge favor? We are just starting our Facebook page of Kids Club for Jesus. It's our brand new children's ministries that has just launched. And so we, if you could go over and like that page, tell all your friends, invite them, all your friends, invite them to like that page and help us to, to make our page grow, that would make me so happy. And I know it would make our administrator, Ash, happy. And she's already doing such a great job. We're going to be posting lots of new things there. I'm going to be posting lives here every week. And story time will be here on live Friday night at 530. So I will be reading from my bedtime story books. And sometimes I probably will even tell a story. So we'll see how we like. And there's going to be a special giveaway this Friday. I have a, a special gift. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But we're going to have a giveaway on Friday at 530. So tell your friends to join. Why don't you start a watch party? Invite all your friends to join uh, Friday night at 530. 
our story time with Miss Brenda, okay? And we're going to have a special little giveaway, and we're not going to tell you how we're going to give it away or what we're going to give away yet, but it's going to be worth tuning in for. And we are just going to have lots of fun together. So go to Kids Time, uh, Kids Club for Jesus. Make sure you like this page and follow us. And that way you're going to also um, be able to be up on all the updates and news and announcements and things that are coming up when we're having live events you won't want to miss. And also invite your moms and dads, grandma and grandpas. Um, it's for uh, adults and kids praise time. Tonight at 530, I will be taking your favorite songs and playing them on the piano. I wish my friend Nancy was here. You could bring your guitar. We'd really have a good time. And, uh, and also this Sabbath afternoon at 5.30, so Wednesday and Saturday, 5.30 p.m., live with, with Miss Brenda on the piano playing your favorites. So thank you so much for joining us. Remember to keep cooking and eat healthy. Love you guys. See you tonight, just a couple of hours away, around the piano. Bye-bye now.